Well, I guess uh, while we are waiting, well, good afternoon. I, I guess everyone just had lunch, and uh, I, I hope I, uh, I'm just going to do a really quick presentation. I hope, you know, um, you know I hope won't get everybody too sleepy. Uh, um, oh, good. Uh, okay. So, so I'm, uh, I'm Pei Li uh, from, uh, uh, from Asia, um, from Lun Partners. So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Um, I'm going to just do a really quick introduction. So um, until a few years ago, I was working for a, uh, a fintech company. It's called SBI, uh, uh, formerly known as uh, SoftBank Investment. And then so I spent a few years uh, to overseeing its uh, uh, China operation. So um, during uh, working for SBI, I have set up investment funds and uh, making investment into um, uh, what I call traditional financial institutions. And then, of course, um, you know, the, the companies that uh, you are familiar with, uh, securities, brokerage firm, uh, insurance, uh, banking. <clears throat> so uh, late 2015, so uh, my colleagues and I um, decided we want to do something more interesting. You know, we want to uh, go out there and um, make investments. Um, into uh, what we think innovative company that uh, hopefully that we can put together all these very interesting company. Um, you know, we call it ecosystems uh, uh, back then. You know, put together two very innovative companies and then hopefully they will come out with something even uh, more innovative. So basically that's the idea. So we started um, uh, in uh, 2016. Uh, so, so um, as, as you can see, so we are we're based in Asia. So, since 2016, we have set up uh, a few funds, and then we kind of invest everywhere, but uh, you know, only very few um, in China. And then, as you can see uh, on the screen, that um, MFS Africa uh, is one of the one of our portfolio company. Oops. This is okay. So, so last year we, we had the privilege uh, to you know to we uh, lead around a, a Series B, and you know we get to know um, Dari and his team very well. Uh, we we think it's a very interesting time, um, and then we think uh, this is a, you know for us is a very special, very very special investment. I'll, I'll explain why uh, next page. So um, as you, I guess. If you, you you all know MFS Africa, right? I mean, because Dari this morning just uh, you know he was sitting here uh, as a panel speaker, uh, and we had um, uh, Larito uh, talk about uh, companies uh, compliance. So um, so I'm not going to uh, explain to you what's uh, um, MFS Africa, uh, but but I, I guess today I will show maybe a little bit uh, a different view because we are here. Uh, if I uh, um, if I understand this correctly, it's all about payment and remittance. I mean, it's definitely more than that, but um, uh, I, I personally think MFS Africa is not a payment company. Well, it is, you know, it's definitely one of its uh, uh, core business, but, uh, you know, I see MFS, MFS Africa is more than that. Um, so so I'll, I'll, I'll talk a, a little bit about, I mean, there are many reasons why um, that we uh, invest in this company. But for uh, one of the reasons I mentioned, because we want to create this ecosystem, and that's one of the um, main, uh, main objectives that uh, me and my partners uh, want to do. So we, uh, we think that what we have, the pieces what we have, um, can very well connect and integrate into MFS Africa. And as you can see here, right here uh, on the screen, it, it has over uh, 180 million uh, money uh, wallets, and, and that number will continue to increase. Um, it, it probably will uh, double um, sometime this year. I, I'm just putting a little pressure. Um, so, um, and, and so that it's a, a, a very larger amount of number. Um, uh, you know, I'm coming, you know, so I'm based in Shanghai right now, and, you know, um, even coming from China, um, that is still a very, very big number, uh, especially when it double uh, later this year. Um, so, so when we were considering um, MFS Africa, so we asked ourselves, um, what can we, what, what can we add, right? I mean, what can we add value to the company, other than just provide 
you know, some capital. Um, so, so then we ask ourselves, you know, questions, you know, I actually put it here. Um, can, we, can we help MFS Africa to, to serve better, um, provide different applications, maybe different services? Um, so can we introduce new, I, 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 wrote, I, I, I wrote it here, uh, new products, tools. And the answer is yes. And, and another second reason, okay, other than this very large user base, another reason why um, we, we invest in MFS Africa is that, you know, in the past, you know, I have worked in Tokyo and, and China altogether about 15 years. We have seen many successful stories. You know, I put it here, you can, you can see it's Alipay and, and financial, and then there are many other very successful financial service companies in Japan and, and, and in China. Then, then, then we see that there are similarities, okay? Um, MFS Africa has uh, uh, a lot of, um, you know, common points to these successful stories. Um, you know, I have seen in Asia, in Japan, and in China. Well, for one, you know, Dar is a, a great leader, you know, and, and, you know, other than that, let me tell you, its business model is very unique. It's acting, uh, okay, it's like a hub, and then it's, uh, you know, you will get many friends and partners to work together at different parts uh, of country in Africa. And I believe, you know, this business model is going to work uh, not only in Africa, but outside of Africa as well. So, um, you know, actually yesterday I had, uh, you know, after the meeting, actually the um, board meeting, I was, a, I was an uh, observer, um, but then I had a chance to speak with um, some of um, the board members. So they asked me, because, um, you know, I have been involved uh, you know, in the past, you know, I have invested a few very similar companies in Japan and in China. So they asked me, you know, is this the path that you imagine MFS is going to be? They say, become the next um, Alipay or N Financial? Well, my answer is yes and no. Um, yes is because um, there are things we can definitely um, learn from, from them, from, from these very successful companies. But at the same time, you know, <clears throat> you know I, I was joking about, you know, because business school will, you know, put all these cases together and say, you know, this is A, B, C, you do step one, two, three, you know, um, and then you will make it. Or, or, or they will say something like, you are a consulting firm maybe will say something like, oh, you are missing step number four. And then so you need that um, to, to become great. Um, well, I, I, I don't really see that, even though um, when you put all very successful cases together, you do see common points, you do see similarities, but they all, um, you know, they all grow in very different ways, and they all have different shapes. So the answer is, I, I, I mean, to, you know, yesterday's discussion, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know um, MFS Africa is going to become either like Alipay or I don't know, Tencent or, or companies that have invested in Japan. I, I have no clue. But I, but I believe, you know, we're gonna get there and then, um, and then we can learn from their experiences. Um, so, so these are the two main reasons uh, we, um, you know, we, we invest uh, in MFS Africa. And then so, ah, here, this is a slide basically just saying something more concrete, you know. So, so he, I just put some of the companies I have in mind that, you know, uh, companies we have invested in the past that I think can connect to this, this hub, uh, MFS Africa. And in, in our portfolio companies, we have um, education company, we have um, uh, exchange, uh, currency exchange, um, we have um, robot advisory company, we have blockchain company. We have a hub connecting to different crypto exchange. Uh, it's called Glass. Um, and, then, and then we have very, uh, you know, good relationship with, um, you know, uh, uh, you can see all these um, very big um, payment company um, in China. I, I mean, but I have to say, uh, when I was working in China in early 2000, you know, many of these companies were very small. So, um, so we knew them back then. 
So I, I, you know, I like to say this, I won't be surprised you know, to see MFS Africa be something uh, really big uh, in the next two, three years or, you know, and, and then you know, dominate the market. You know, that's, I'm sorry, that's just really my imagination. Uh, but you know, I hope you know, that, again, put pressure uh, you know, to the management team again. <laughs> Um, so, so here is something that we think, um, you know, what we are going to do. We, we, um, this is kind of what we have been doing for our portfolio companies. So, so first of all, um, we, we actually um, think that rather than just state um, in, in, in Africa, because, you know, I was just saying earlier, um, it, it's, you know, 52 to 54 countries anyway. So you might as well, and, and it's in, in, in age of internet, you might as well go a little bit, you know, uh, far or further. So, so I think, um, you know, in Asia, we, we want to help companies to connect to all these very interesting company, including payment companies. So that's why, um, you know, we, we have suggest that um, company will, you know, establish a, um, Asia entity, and then so we will um, help um, its Asia, uh, Asia entity to um, to make business development, and also that uh, we are very keen and very interested um, together uh, with MFS Africa um, to do some to do some co investment. Uh, it is also our um, you know uh, our strategy that once we invest in a company, we're going to continue to invest until they you know become very big until you know, they become so big that we cannot invest anymore. And then we also um, like to, um, to get to co-investment with our portfolio company to buy or to invest into the companies that later on can integrate or do some collaboration um, with, uh, with MFS Africa. So here are just some example. Um, I, I'm gonna, not gonna take too much time. So, this is you know, something you know, I would like to extend an invitation to all of you. So you know, we, uh, you know, since 2017, we, uh, we have our own kind of get together. I, I call it get together, but you know, um, this year, oh, actually last year, we had uh, our second kind of get together, um, what I call uh, a little party, but you know, it turned out to be, uh, we, had, uh, we had more than um, 200 uh, friends join us. Um, so, we're going to do it again this year. So the idea is really simple to have all our fintech companies get together, um, talk about you know, what they are doing and uh, challenges they are facing, and hopefully to find a way to collaborate with each other. You can see uh, from the left-hand side, uh, the second picture, you see Darius there. Um, he, had a, he did a wonderful presentation in Shanghai, uh, meeting many friends in Shanghai. So I'm, I'm just going to um, stop here. Uh, it's just a really quick introduction of ourselves and, and why we uh, invest in MFS Africa. So you know, I, I, I would like to end with a uh, um, African uh, um, proverb, if I may. Uh, it's you know, I, I said this all the time. I use this like hundred times, so Dari knows. Um, if you want to go fast, uh, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you uh, if you want to go far, you go together. Thank you very much.